morning, we are taking you inside the quietest place on earth. Kelly, shh, too loud. Uh, the chamber is inside the Orfield Laboratories in Minneapolis. Sounds very nice. And now they're offering tours. Shane Wells joins us now with the story. How long could you stay in the quietest place on earth? Before you answer that question, you're gonna to wanna to hear us out here. I have Emma Orfield Johnston with us at Orfield Laboratories in Minneapolis. Once in a while, you open up this space to the public. There's so much curiosity because there's a lot of misinformation out there about what happens to people in this space. Walk us through, how, how, what's the longest someone stayed in here? So, so far, somebody's paid for about four hours to stay in here. Um, the London Daily Mail years ago said that the record was 45 minutes and kind of spread the rumor that no one could stay longer, but it's in fact the complete opposite. So for the first time, we're opening up for group tours, group sessions in here, where about four or, four or five folks will um, sit in, in the dark, in the silent for an hour. And then what do you tell people to prepare them for this? Because one might assume it's a very peaceful process, but it seems like it might be also jarring to be able to hear bodily, f your body. <laughs> right, yeah, of course. Well, we like to tell people that because they're out in the real world most of the time, um, they're being exposed to high levels of perceptual stimulus. This room is by definition the complete opposite. So it is a space of sensory deprivation. And in order to adapt to the space, you have to try and bring your senses down um, to a place where it can resonate with what this room is. Um, so prior, we ask people to try and quiet their lives. Quiet their lives. Eat a meal before you come here, saying you don't want your stomach <laughs> rumbling the whole time. Right, ex exactly, exactly. For people who are looking around and wondering what we're surrounded by, what is this made of? Yep, so this, we're, we like to say we're in a room within a room within a room. We're in our acoustic lab that's made of foot-thick concrete. Okay. And then there's an outer chamber, which is steel, and an inner chamber. And we're floating on airplane cable here and surrounded by fiberglass wedges. So in this room, actually beyond just the airplane cable, which we're bouncing on, um, it's actually sitting on two I-beams that are on springs. So we are floating in silent space. There's, there's a lot going on here, but yeah. also without a lot going on here. Right, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> for the public tours, um, groups can come in here. How long do they get to stay? They stay for one hour. One hour. Yep, and we're recommending that people, if they'd like, come in multiple times. Um, we'd like to open this more up as a therapeutic opportunity for people, and so we intend to do this on a much more consistent basis. Love it, because it's very popular. Yeah. You just yeah. open these tours up, and already there's not a lot of slots left. People are really excited about peace. <laughs> <laughs> that was well put. I think that's a perfect spot to end this. Emma, thank you for your time. I appreciate it. If you guys yeah. want to learn more, you can head to orfieldlabs.com. Back to you. I don't, is it, would you want to do something like that? Is that? I don't think, I mean, I love the concept. Yeah. I just, um, I don't think I'd last really long. I don't think I would either. <laughs> I think they'd be like, ma'am, yeah. you, need, you yeah. need to go. Yeah. You're, you're ruining mm -hmm. the experience yeah. for everyone. Yeah. I, I know. I, I don't. Think I, do I, I like the idea, and yeah. I think it is good to just be quiet. Right. I just struggle with that. 